so you can have very very simple questions like there is x and y they belong to the same period so would their what would be the uh, would their valencies be same if not justified so if they belong to the same period then their valencies cannot remain same although they can because i mean uh, it goes from 1 to 3 to then again 3 to 1 so they can remain same but if okay uh, the question might be like x is in group 1 and y is in group 2 and both belong to the same period which is suppose 3 so what can you say about their valencies so the valencies will obviously not be same because they are in different groups and they are in the same period and since x is in group 1 its valency would be 1 y is in group 2 its valency would be 2 so y valency of y is equal to valency of x plus 1 so a very simple questions like these may come and they are very scoring for the exams now next we come to another very interesting trend which is the atomic size now what do you mean by atomic size it's the size of the atom but how would you measure the size of the atom so the size of the atom can be directly measured by the radius of the atom and the radius is nothing but the distance from the nucleus to the outermost shell shell or electron anything So the radius is nothing but the distance if this is the atom and it has suppose three shells. So the radius is the distance from the nucleus to the outermost shell. So this is the radius. And this radius is generally measured in picometers. which is 10 to the power minus 12 meters so you see how small the measurement unit is 10 to the power minus 12 that means 10 to the power minus 10 centimeter so it's just 1 by 10 to the power 10th of a centimeter so you can imagine how small the atoms could be So this is a very potential question that what is the unit of measurement of radius of an atom. So it's picometers and with picometers you have to write it's equal to 10 to the power minus 12 meter. Commonly asked question. Now this is about the radius or the atomic size. So how does the atomic size change? Now, let us examine the groups first. This is a group. Suppose let us name the elements of this group A, B, C, D, E. Now, what happens in a group? Down the group, the a new 
shell is added so if a new shell is added then what will hap happen to the atomic size this suppose this had one shell now it has two shells so its radius was this much now it's this much so obviously the radius will increase so due to the addition of the new shell the atomic size increases down the group so on this again they give you simple questions like uh in suppose this is group 14 you have oxygen or in group 14 you have what yes you have oxygen sorry 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 in group 14 you have carbon you have carbon and then you have silicon so they will ask you that which of these uh whose atomic size would you expect to be more so obviously silicon is lying below carbon so silicon has an extra shell which carbon does not have so due to that extra shell it will its atomic size will be greater than carbon so hence atomic size or atomic radius of silicon will be greater than carbon or they might give you in terms of x and y it's the same thing and now let us see what happens to the atomic size along a period now along a period you will see that suppose you have sodium now sodium has 11 electrons and 11 protons then we have uh, after sodium what do we have we have uh, magnesium it has 12 electrons and 12 protons then we have aluminum 13 electrons 13 protons so these are belonging to the same period which is period 3 so what will happen is that in this the shells the number of shells are not changing they are remaining constant so if this is the nucleus and it has how many shells three shells so in sodium there was one electron in magnesium there is one more proton and another electron but the shell uh, there is no addition of an extra shell so what will it do that this extra proton will attract this ex these extra electrons and it will do nothing but reduce the size of the atom so in the nucleus the protons are increasing so they will attract more and more electrons the power of attraction will be more so if they attract more then they will bring this electrons closer to themselves so that is why the atomic size will decrease from sodium to magnesium and again from magnesium we add another electron and we get aluminum this and another proton so the the interaction will increase more they will get more attracted and their size will reduce again so again it will decrease from magnesium to aluminum so along a period from sodium to what is the gas uh, argon so in that period the atomic size decreases
so the atomic size will decrease along a period and they will ask you why does the atomic size decrease along a period so you have to state that the effective nuclear charge due to the addition of the proton will increase so the interaction between the electrons and protons will increase and the nucleus will hold the electrons more strongly and bring bring them closer to itself thus reducing the atomic size so atomic size will increase down the group and decrease along a period